Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me here in Hearts of Iron Forum, your host, the Mr. American Junta Lover. But right now, of course, we're privatizing the TVA. We're led by Mac Daddy, the American Caesar, which I didn't realize we get attack and defense bonus uh, on core territory and better leadership costs. But I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should join the Allies or not, and overall, there's a lot of support for us to join... Daddy Oswald Mosley, at least for now. So, for now, we will accept. Also, now we're at war with the Soviet Union because the European syndicates have gone to war. And uh, I guess we're now in the Allies, fighting the Bolivarian Alliance, the European syndicate, of course. Uh, well, I guess we're fighting Japan now, too. Alright, well, whatever. And, of course, they're with the French. So it's Japan, France, Czechoslovakia, Romania. A thick Yugoslavian boy. Wow. So... This is a weird alliance. This is a weird world, but you know what? That's a okay for now. Uh, I guess we still have Congress to pay attention to. We'll see how long that lasts. Uh, political actions, not too concerned about that. We could develop a lot of aluminum and steel places. And we have some comms to go through as we will slowly, slowly, slowly be trying to. Oh, she imports stuff from these guys. Um, take out Mexico. Because we're relatively on the same level for now. We're not going to stay at the same level as them, but you know. Actually, we got more than enough. We have five. So. And there goes Italy. Um, oh, there are our allies too. Sure, why not? Uh, let's see. What are we up to here? What, what's going on here? Sure. 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 Why not? Sure. Alright. Well, we'll see what happens this war. We'll see if we will continue to stay allies with them. The allies. It's kind of weird to think about. But we'll see. All right, and of course we're going to make more divisions and just blow them on the line whenever we can. That'd be great. As we're trying to sink more and more enemy convoys, which actually we're doing relatively okay with, because so we need to fight Japan too. So I think we'll focus on them maybe a little bit. Uh, obviously Mexico, like I said, we've got some comms go through as well, but probably take out Venezuela, Mexico, and then probably head to Japan. I think that'd be a good goal. Ah, Hungary announces the Treaty of Trianon. I don't think anyone really cares about this point, but what they do. Are we demobilizing? No, we're, we're actually okay. Uh, buddy, oh. uh, I'll probably go with that one. Commandos, not bad. Ooh, 15% more. Sort of the efficiency is not bad. Uh, anyone over here? Air reformer. Air accidents chance. Charles Lindbergh. You know, that because we can, trading experience gain, uh, we'll probably never do this right again, so probably choose Charles Lindbergh for that one. That's not bad either. Naval reformer is not bad. Air attacks from carriers. Convoy rating efficiency? Ooh, that's nice. As much as I want to keep working on that one, I kind of want to go with commerce rating right now. That'd be a lot of fun. Because we're already doing that. So you might as well, right? Yeah, might as well. You might as well help out as well. That would be a great thing. How much do we get every day? 1.24, it's not bad. Go and just start doing some. Slowly getting rid of these just so that we can get, get rid of them. Just go through them. Their artillery will be very nice. And anything else here? Panzer expert? Yeah, we'll switch it around eventually. Maybe we'll use some tanks. It depends. I mean, we're, we are America. I mean, like I said, Japan's going to be our main focus for this probably episode. Or at least take taking out Mexico and South America. Uh, anti tank, maybe. Uh, output extraction, maybe first? Hello. Oh. Well, don't go over there. Hopefully, the Italians don't lose too hard, but, you know, we'll get, we'll get to Europe eventually. A lot of convoys, I love it. Just oh so yummy. Could do Lone Wolf, we'll see. Um, Sanders speak out against us, which kind of sucks. Oh! What? Oh, I hate that. No, 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 no. Oh, we might have to kill the Allies and off in the end. I don't want to give these guys any sort of things here. Second Civil War. I don't like that at all. I really don't. Um, National Employment Strategy. Unemployment comes from the simple fact. People don't match up with the jobs offered. Factories lie out of because employers don't find the people they need, while people in other parts of the country starve. Why don't you do this new strategy that will ensure that any employer can find the people he needs to run his company? Well, I guess technically. Well, you can try to go, I guess. I'm not here to liberate Mexico. I'm here to take over Mexico. God dang it. What are we out of? Guns? No, seriously, what are we out of? Support equipment. 
They criticize us, whatever. Don't care. Um, cavalry divisions, local volunteers. Ah, shove him under local volunteers because he can. Hello. Wait, what? They best not be trying to kill us off. Oh, bring back the dominions into the fold. Okay, that's fine, whatever. Oh, the Japanese showed up. Interesting. Which means we're going to need to really focus on more naval bombers. We're going to need to focus way more military factories. There you go. Hmm. Where are we with naval stuff? Let's see. Ooh. We're almost done with the naval stuff. Land doctrine stuff. We're not that far. We're even further behind on air stuff. So, um... I'm going to go with land option just because we will need a lot of it. Mm. If anything, uh, who was it? Was it you? Go, go, go ambusher. 1940. Um, heavy ship poles. We'll see. Nice. Can't believe they're not sea wolves yet. Sea wolves, at least, but we'll get there. Marines will be good because we definitely need those guys. China's killing itself. Germany under attack. Down the European Defense League, alright. Let's close these pockets up, or you know, these little defenses, and we'll make one solid front line and keep taking these guys out. Hey, we do well, really well here. Nice. Cast, ground support. Uh, you know, let's go with carriers, why not? 11 divisions trapped, including some Japanese divisions? Say it's, say it's so. Nice. Sixty-six percent of the way to become a sea wolf, which is good. A lot of combos should die, 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 die. He's level six already, which is great. I'm just waiting for Ironside, really. It'll be a while, but you know, whatever. It'll be worth it in the end. Um, I guess we're going in or what? Good one, Sin Kyung. Of course, you guys are doing force defense, which is really bad for us, but whatever. It does give us a lot of army XP, though. And that's kind of what I care about the most. All right, on to the Confederacy. Too long, the story of the Civil Wars was told from the Northern perspective, which is true. The story of a doomed rebellion. It's time that the other side is heard as well. Nice. We need a lot of political power to do this one. Sure, guys. Sure. Courtney Hatch is wounded. After that one, uh, it's in the Chinese Exclusion Acts. With China ravaged by war, we must take steps to limit China's immigration, unless we be drawn away as refugees. Yeah. Go ahead. Alright, so with this one... See what we can do about this. When in doubt, just kill them all off. How many men have we lost so far? 24,000. I'm not really concerned. My goodness, they just keep going to war with more people. Um, it's 1939. We do want to get the 1940 sub tech, though. Because while we're doing great now, it's already level 5, which is awesome. It could be even better. So. <clears throat> yeah, we're doing an okay amount of damage. Oh, we're at support equipment. That sucks. We're out of a lot of equipment. Are we really out of guns? No, we're okay on guns. Suppressive barrage? Sure, you know what? You can have that Courtney Hodges for now. Here, everybody. Help us out. As we're literally just grinding for more army XP right now. Lots of convoys. I love it. Oh wait, did Hawaii get taken out yet? No, it's good. But we, we'll start island hopping soon. I'm sure Japan still has a ton of ships though. Oh! Oh, look at that! They have a fleet down here. Well, that's not good. Got the French over here too, which is not good or ideal as well. Convoys, convoys. Jesus Christ, so many convoys. How many men have we killed off?
Poland returns Danzig. Whoa. I was not expecting that. I don't think anybody really was. You know what? If you're going to lose, then don't fight. Don't be losers. Mexico has got to die. You should easily be able to win here. Easy, easy, easily, easily. Oh, what a bunch of losers. They can't win here? Are you kidding me? Well, then we'll starve them out. Keep sinking everything they got. Oh, look at this. Nice. So I'm going to be killed off of, like, Japan. 400,000 already is not bad. Fighters get more of this, get more attack bombers. We don't have naval bombers. Oh, crap. Oh, we need more trucks, naval bombers. And we'll probably go to. Uh, wait, we can go to volunteer only. Well, I guess extensive conscription. <clears throat> Whatever. Empower the whack. Voter registration. Can't do war powers either. Oh, we need more support. Hmm. Well, I guess in the meantime, uh, to Ocean Navy Act. With war on the horizon, we must ensure that no enemy can ever set foot on American shores. We, our Navy must be able to fight any enemy either of the two great oceans that form our borders. Pretty much. Rock Island. Let's grab that guy. Oh, he's finally Sea Wolf. That's good. I want Drilling Master, and I definitely want Torpedo Expert, so. This way, there's like no chance that they won't be able to kill whatever they hit. Eh, that's not bad. I might want to. Eh. We just use up all the naval, because we might want to wait to get some more. This over here. Oh, we need more RD2. God dang it. Uh, this, 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 this. Nice. Good enough for now. Um, not sure why we're all the way over there. Italy's still holding on. Oh, the UK actually invaded. Or the British Empire actually invaded. Look at that. Huh. Get some more propaganda. That'd be good for war support. And now we have some planes here, maybe. Not really. All right. More. How are they able to push down here? We can't push through here at all. I don't understand this. A lot of Japanese soldiers. Well, I mean, technically, the casualties just keep going up. Some comments, such as, someone says, MacArthur in the thumbnail, instant click. Ooh, that's going to be good. Someone says, 34 minutes late, and I see the five-star general, Douglas MacArthur, in the thumbnail. I click and be satisfied. Someone says, hmm, Hitler got a pose. Let's see where this goes. And someone else says, Adam Hill time. Can you do Irkutsk with best enough as a unifier, someone asks. Yeah, eventually I probably can, yeah. Someone says, American Caesar, lol. Someone else says, you should support the Allies as they support you during the Civil War, during the Allies. Someone says, if you'll do a Christian socialist Italian campaign, please, I hope you answer this comment. Well, I'll answer it in, as I do the videos. Someone else says, don't join the Allies. So, for now, maybe we won't join the Allies in the future. Or maybe just leave the faction. We'll see. Uh, grab one of those. That's fine. And then someone else says, honestly, if you ignore how Oswald most began sympathizing with radical ideologies, you can see a very intelligent person or politician. Which is not wrong. Not wrong. Cool. So, we're kind of stuck here for now. Um, yeah, I'm just going to be killing off these guys as much as we possibly can. Also, our division's combo width could probably be bigger. Or better. Yeah, probably bitch is better. Uh, let's go thick. We like them thick. If they're not thick, we don't want them. This motto is to live by. 
We're getting some logistic companies. 41. Anti-tank, maybe? Do we have any anti-tank? No. Oof. 41 for now. We could probably use some logistics. We're going to need some recon anyways, so... Thick duddy daddies. Cool. Oh, celebrate Montgomery Conventional Day. Move the capital of Richmond. And shrine states' rights. I like states' rights personally, so let's go with that one and celebrate Montgomery Convention Day. Wait, are they attacking us like that? What the heck? You know, they want to attack us, I guess, but. The more damage we try to do, the more we're able to kill, so... Ah. Sink him, sink him, sink him. Actually, how's Europe? Or Af um, Africa? Ah, uh, chance looking not bad. Japan is kind of hanging now. Um, France is, well, doing okay. Not much else has really happened. North Africa is looking okay-ish. Yeah, it's really okay-ish. Benelux. Oh, the Benelux formed. That's its own faction, huh? The European Defense League. Well, we'll see what the hell they do. That is so weird that they actually got it. Wow. New government of Richmond? More stability? Sure, why not? Now we're a majority fascist. From the Navy. Bureau of Ships. Oh, we still have Bureau of Ordnance. That hurts us, huh? We'll combine the Bureau of Construction, Repair, and the Bureau of Engineering to one entity to oversee future naval developments. While we're at it, it may be time to investigate more rumors of an information torpedo or per famous, which the Bureau of Ordnance so vehemently denies. Cancel only, this is fine. Let's go in. How can you not win here? It makes up no sense, though. Oh, it's from the Navy. Well, we don't have to, I guess. We must be able to adapt to anything to our new en our enemies throw at us. Increased funding to naval exercise will lead to more efficient Navy that can be tactically outperform our enemies. This sucks. I hate fighting down in Mexico. It doesn't make any sense why they're so strong. And how the Japanese continu continually enforce their positions. Uh, you know what? I'll start doing intelligence agencies well, then. And since we're down here. Oh, good God, it looks so bad. Supplies. We need way, 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 way more supplies. So, let's read a couple more focuses. And. Oh, three friends. Three friends or France is gone. Wow! The British Empire doesn't even need us. Holy crap, they just capitulated them by themselves. Okay, whatever. Totally not failing here. Oh, that's good, actually. It's actually very good. <clears throat> Maritime Commission, while most of the limit only focus on warships, true experts know that the humble cargo vessel that wins wars to increase the amount of shipping available in times of war will form a special board to coordinate construction. Sure, guys, come on in. Just in case. Um, fleet subs, primary candidacy, base track. Which, which action? We technically are doing base track, but it doesn't even matter at this point. I don't get the radar stuff anyway, so. Carrier primacy. Air power will be needed in the battles of come. The most practical means of extending its range is use of aircraft carriers. Must create more advanced and specialized models. Let's go on. Ooh, actually, that's not bad, too. Subs can see a danger toward merchant convoys. Uh, focusing on developing a, development of new destroyer models will also wage anti sub warfare efficiently. Unrestricted sub war uh, sub submarines. Or sub warfare. History has shown that whatever well intentioned treaty trying to control submarine warfare is not worth the paper it's written on. We should not consider ourselves bound by something our enemies will ignore, anyways. Convoy tactics. Protecting your trade vessels is not just about escorts and effective intelligence, but also tactical choice in how to arrange trade routes and routines. 
Bureau of Aeronautics. To meet the needs for naval aviation development, the Bureau of Aeronautics, which has been responsible for these matters for decades, will have to be expanded, and naval radar. Radar offers tantalizing a possibility to take over the cover of night away from our enemies and detect them even in bad weather. Well now, we've become the Confederated States of America through a decision. It's pretty simple, and nothing really too major, nothing really to read. But apparently Canada went to war with us, so I was not expecting that immediately. I should have probably seen that coming, but it is what it is, and that's really stupid, but you know, whatever. Canada was fighting us. We've lost quite a few guys against the Mexicans. But the Mexicans are all going to burn and die in a hole anyway, so it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, Canada. Um, oh. William Dudley Pelly challenges Douglas MacArthur with the boss and insurrection finally at an end. Man, the governor aren't sure how to proceed. MacArthur's government of national defense was originally envisioned to only last until the end of the war, but the war around the Confederated States of America is only growing more hostile, and may, we may soon find ourselves at war once again. Fascist leader William Dudley Pelly's publicly called for a return to lawful and orderly government while thanking MacArthur for his service, pointing to the surge of support from his movement during the war. Pelly clearly considers himself predestined for the position of president and leader of America. Setting his services to the country in the lead up to the recent civil war and aviation in general, famous aviator Charles Lindbergh has also thrown his hat in the ring. Noting the divisive nature of the two main candidates, Lindbergh believes that he's the best person to unite and inspire the country to overcome its differences and return to its former greatness. An uncharacteristic show of humility, Douglas MacArthur's offer to step down should the public de opinion demand it. Lindbergh and people look to see how the rest of the administration considers the issue. Done a duty? Lindbergh. 1% more range. Famous aviator. Uh. Not entirely sure. Yeah, they joined the European syndicates with stupid Canadians. Actually, how many divisions do they have? Oh, 26, which is not bad. So, you know what? I love Mac Daddy, but not this guy. It's probably a big old mistake, but whatever. It's probably a mistake doing that. Like I said, whatever. I wanted to see what Pelly was like in, you know, vanilla, but then now we know what he's like. He's a swell dude. A real swell dude. We're still fighting down here in Mexico, but... We've had a really thin out how many divisions we've had down here. Also, Japan did go to war with uh, uh, that one group, the Soviet Union. So, yeah. And there goes Qing China. The world is falling apart. And I love the flag. I love our flag so much. We should do okay around here. They have quite a few divisions, but we'll see. We will most definitely see. Also, we are making some sub threes finally, which would be great. We need to start sinking them up crazy. Yeah, we don't have that many divisions, and we're still lacking quite a bit of artillery. Oh, we're lacking guns now too. Crap. It's not good. We're just trying to build ourselves up. Just build ourselves up more and more and more and more. Without the Japanese here, we really should be able to win. Come on, man. We did not lose this tile. Yeah, why is Mexico so strong right now? Alright, what's going on here? Nice. Keep throwing in more subs. These guys definitely not going to last against us now with uh, all these subs. Or these subs that we are making. Squared effort, of course. Like we read before, intervention in Asia. Convoy tactics, fleet subs, yes. That's just weird. We wrote through all this stuff. Liberty ships, of course. Uh, mass production of cargo ships. Well needed company our industrial developments to ensure our net materials and troops reach the theaters where they're needed. Uh, air war plan divisions. To make the right priorities in aviation, we'll, as well as aircraft production, will require longer planning. The AWPD will ensure that we have material organization and strategic plans. Which is a great thing. Why did the Japanese come back? That makes no sense. How do they take over all this part of New England? It makes literally no sense. Go, horse boys, go! Hello. <coughs> Interesting. And overall, we're doing well against Canada. Oh, the British Empire's here too. These guys are merely 16 combos, which is okay. Get to me one for now. Mostly well, because you can. Have ship holes, nice. Uh, we did also get 
the Homeland Defense Emergency Act. So we did go to War Economy without spending too much stuff here. Yeah, overall, it's actually pretty nice. Uh, I don't think they really care about war bonds. Sure, why not? Austria Hungary reform. Okay. That just turned into a very weird campaign. But that's okay. Still can't win, huh? It literally makes no sense. It makes sense that we can't take Mexico City yet, but other than that, I'm not sure how it makes any sort of sense here. All the way in, please. Thank you. All right. That's two. That'll be good. Nice. Keep working, keep working, keep researching. We finally got that done. Thank God. I don't know why it took so flipping long. Mariners, nice. Nope. Anything down here? No, no. A lot of convoys, though. Hey, Japanese, that'll be killed. Almost two thirds of a million, which is pretty decent overall. Nice. Oh, now we can do some of this stuff. Huh. Well, you know what? Nuclear scientists, naval aviation, air doctrine. Well, that's going to be useless eventually. That's technically going to be useless eventually. Ah, I'll do Herald. Why not? We'll do Herald. Cruiser subs are kind of cool. Not going to use them, but they're cool. Climbing cruiser is nice. Logistics. Ah, there they go, finally. Do you actually do anything here now? No? Oh, you're a force attack. All they have is just a bunch of infantry, that's it. We still can't beat them up somehow. I do not understand this. I know it's mountains, probably. Great Zimbabwe. I don't care how many men have to die here. I really don't. Just a concession. Um, if you worry about that, please go ahead. Sure. The British Empire's over there. Um, you know what's over here, anyways. There you go. Might as well do that. And then... Oh, these guys actually made it down there, which is actually pretty good. I want to help support them down there, but... He has really nothing going for him, so what are we going to burn the Marine Divisions? Well, we need some big old boys to invade, so we might as well. Go with artillery, artillery... Lots of be able to punching powers. And that's as far as we can go. Good enough for now. And we'll just keep working on this, and we'll see how far we can get. So, now we're struggling a little bit uh, in the Pacific, because we can't quite invade because we don't have superiority, but... Colombia is a good time, a good place to be this year, so how about Colombia? We'll try our best. Oh, that's quite a few divisions, Daniel, but we'll see what we can do. See what we can muster up. If we can't do well, then whatever. We call it in all our allies anyways, and... Well, I'll do well in the end eventually. So, I'm not really too concerned. Maybe just a little bit, though. Maybe just a little bit. Guys, I already gave you manpower, so... <clears throat> um, not too much other... Not too many other the crazy things have really happened yet. So, we just need more factories. Just military factories are the biggest issue. 
We keep trying to take more, 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 but I guess we just made them all that we can make already. There you go. Keep making more. More, 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 please. Of course, supply down is going to be really bad, especially with the combo with the vision that we already have, so... But, it looks like we're doing okay. Of course, this will get us to Venezuela as well. Ecuador, maybe, perhaps, too. And it's very, very easy to just justify these guys. Of course, we're doing a maritime commission. We'll do liberty ships next. Expand the USMC. The United States Marine Corps has been a decisive force in many past wars. and may be more relevant than ever. <clears throat> For amphibious campaigns. Super zealous. Amphibious operations. Oh, well. Oh, crap. Not this stuff. Hellas, who took him out? I guess... You guys did? Maximus, Portugal... Or maybe they didn't take them out. I have no idea. Obviously, we don't really deserve them, but, you know, whatever. Free France? UK, maybe? Okay, they can have... Uh... Well, it looks like I'm going to figure this out, as we will take out Colombia and Venezuela and keep working our way down through South America. Well, everyone, now we're continuing our journey south through South America... And then some have a little bit of Bolivian fun, if we possibly can. And I think we'll do, uh... I think we'll do alright. I think we'll do alright. Um, other than that, we have been invading through the islands just a little bit here. Uh, we did spend some time trying to invade the Haida Gwaii region. But now we're going further down south in the Pacific as well. Eventually trying to reach to the Japanese islands, where China's doing very well against these guys. Qing China's trying to fight the Soviets. What happened here? Uh... Well, okay, then. I guess Germany's dead. Don't ask me what happened, because I literally have no idea what happened. And I guess I'm not really concerned. They're not our biggest threat right now. We've got some other threats we got to deal with first, so... Um, yeah, other than that, we're doing pretty darn well. They're doing some Liberty ships. We've done Air War Plans Division, Strategic Bombing, Santos Retire, who cares? Build the Pentagon's not bad. It's not bad to do the Selective Training Service Act. Intervention in Asia, Defense of the Pacific, huh? We're playing red. We're playing ruby. Garnet. I guess we empower that whack. The House Committee on Un-American Activity serves an important function of healthy democracy. We must not permit disloyal elements from trying to influence the political process, as well as War Powers Act. In a world of increasingly fast aircraft flying or carrying increasingly larger bomb loads, and a world of subs and chemical weapons restricting the President to require the consent of Congress to do what is needed to defend the country's not inviting disaster. We create our own factions, of course, eventually as well, but... Oh, we won. Oh. Well, all right. I thought we would see them capitulate like that, but whatever. We'll do that, too. Um, let's keep reading some more focuses, too. Ah, Manifest Destiny. The special circumstances around our nation's foundation and history gives us a mandate to act on injustice and oppression anywhere in the world. To create a safe international community, our primary export must be freedom. Seize Cuba. Uh, just off our shores lies an unsinkable aircraft carrier ready to serve as a base for an aggressor. We must not let this happen. Eliminate the sudden threat. Mexico has been an unstable mess for the last generation. Where the violence spills over our borders or someone unites the country and marches north is irrelevant, we must secure the southern flank in the Cascade, uh, Canadian corridor. A small strip of sparse populated uh, Canadian territory separates Alaska from the lower U.S. Its, de its defense is therefore dependent on Canadian goodwill, however. Most likely attackers Canada. This cannot continue in the North American Dominion. With the immediate border secure, we must look further afield to preempt any threat against North America. We cannot tolerate any rogue city in the region. Pretty much. We must start working some tanks, too. We'll see. But tanks are pretty nice. And of course, it's 1942, of course, having a good old time with these guys, these fine, fine folks. Maybe with some better ships right there. Let's go do some more powers out, because I do want to do uh, the justified stuff and get it done faster. So, um, how are we doing? Doing okay? Let's take a look see here. Mm, struggling through there, that's fine. Well, we made a struggle just a little bit, so. We'll see. Actually, no, you need that too. You need that area here as well. I'm um, sure that's fine for now. We'll get it done eventually. I'm not super concerned about it. They do have some task forces out here, which does suck. Um, I really don't want to get rid of these guys here, because they're actually very, 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 very useful. For now, we could probably honestly send them uh, out to here, too. Take a, it'll take them a while to get over there, but that's all right. Uh, war bonds are all right to do. Chromium. Need your own chromium. So that'd be good. Let's go to World Chile next, probably. 25 days. That'll take a while, but that's all right. He's been doing very, very well. Of course, these guys are like 42 combo, 41 combo now, so. And supply-wise, we are just out of trucks. Overall, not bad. Only 400 factories, but then again, we are America. What do you expect? Um, regarding that, no Italy. I'm not giving you anything else. Do that too. Anything over here? Mm, not too much. 
convoys, yes. Uh, it's going to take some time to get over here and just do that. So let's keep doing so, some more South America. That'd be nice. Keep working, working, working on that. More naval stuff. Ooh, agent capture is not good. And continue doing some of this stuff as well. Captured by the Japanese Shogunate is not ideal. Operations. There you go. Hey, convoy sunk. Good. Anything over here. Uh, maybe better cannons. It's almost 43 anyways. Uh, uh, that's not worth really getting. Better guns, why not? Can't quite invade these islands yet, which does really, really suck. Um, let me go to war with those guys first. Go over there as well, maybe? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, we have British Islands right there. Um, hmm. Tawada. Well, what if we took you instead? Come from here. Maybe right there. Try that. That's this too. Oops. Yeah, I'm sure way to do that. Whatever. Who cares? Go in. Paraguay's next. Because why not? You guys will be fine. You guys are just kind of hanging out up and around these areas. And it's alright. <clears throat> I keep anything. Can we build radar? In our... Eh, that might work. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh boy. Get some of that going. Get some of this going. Build an air base here. Bomb them while they're trying to do stuff and deploy stuff. Convoys. Actually, how strong is Japan? Because they don't seem to be doing very, very well. Oh! That's good. Uh, a couple divisions. I got a lot of equipment, of course. Ship-wise, they still have plenty of ships. Just no fuel, which is good to see. So they're quite literally running on fumes. Which is, like I said, quite good to see. Uh, you know, bombers might be actually really useful for this. I did get rid of some bombers just because they weren't very useful. I didn't want to deal with it, so... Now we're okay. For now. War powers? Yes, sir. Ah, now we can just see that's all you took. Manifest of Destiny. That's all it took to do that. It's beautiful. Uh, I'll give you way more rubber. Oh, we're running out of things like crazy. It's not good. Brazil, so grab one from you for now. Seven? Oh! All that stuff. Nice. Shocking off. Finally, got some more stuff done for that stuff. Uh, Naval Doctrine, of course, is fully done. And so we'll come over here. Bureau of Ordnance. Close combat. Not bad. Oh, torpedo screen penetration. It's not bad. Positioning. Uh, we would never want to click that. Influences any ship design made? Yeah, that's really bad. And I'll do that one because we can. Why not? Lost sub, which sucks, but that's alright. And we're doing okay against Chile, which is great, 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 great. Uh, feels like it's American tradition right now. I'm not sure why we decided to invade it with cavalry, but whatever. So a lot of this, I mean, we might not be able to take it to Japan by the end of this episode, just because it's going to take some time to island hop through all this stuff and uh, deploy soldiers and whatnot, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. Um, honestly, these guys should be thick enough that we can honestly probably just do like one per thing. Which means I'm going to do a lot of this off screen and then we'll just pick it up right where uh, we pretty much invade Japan probably. Because after Japan, I'm not sure what else we should really do. Should we invade anybody else? Let me know in the comments below. I'll give you some heavy ship holes. Why not? I like them heavy. Bar control threes, three. Battleship armor, two, three. This costs a lot to make, though. Uh, let's go with. God dang it. Oh, God dang it. Two. 
Uh, secondary batteries are fine. Secondary batteries are fine. Make two of them. We're going to need them. Even more subs. And there you go. Nice. And over here. Nope. More combos. Sunk. Good, 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 good. Kill off Chile if you can, please. Thank you very much. Very good. More naval bombers. Uh, way more fighters, at least. Cast should be okay as well to make. Not carrier cast, but just regular cast. Uh, this is one we're going to make another division. That's good. Anything else around here? Ooh, convoys. Yes. Yes. We win. Nice. Pegway. Oh, Task Force something. Nice. Good job, guys. Oh, 23 destroyers. A light cruiser as well. Oh, yes. Please. Goodbye, Belgian boys. You're a bunch of communists anyways. That is not permitted in South America. Let me just be straight up and honest with you. Not allowed. Chromium. Get a lot of these stuff then, so we don't have to do them later. Let's have fun. Amphibious. Ah, uh, short, short bombardment because we can. Just because we can. Wow. Looking very good. Alright, so let's do this. Don't care where they're at, so we'll invade at pretty much every single island. I don't think it really matters too much, but I don't want to leave anything to chance. Um, I'll try to make these daddies a little thicker than normal. Now I realize I shouldn't have done that what we did earlier, but whatever. Good. Just slowly island hopping. It's kind of the name of the campaign right now. Because in the beginning of the next episode, we should just island hop into pretty much wherever we need to go. You know what? You can help out take that area out too. What's going on here? They don't have a lot of organization. Shouldn't have that much fuel, so that's good. Oh, crap. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna do to do this. Oh, my bad. Go in if you can. Not super concerned about it. We still get 1.6 every single day, which is awesome. No, we don't have enough factories. We're just building everything else up first. Oh, boy. But after Manifest Destiny, we're going to do all this stuff. Strategic investments. The world is more connected than ever before. A third of one part of it can easily grow until it becomes a danger to the entire world. We must build a network of mutually supporting bases around the globe to ensure it's able to us to respond quickly to any situation. Protect South America, supposedly. The southern part of our double continent has been the playground of empire since it was discovered. It's time that someone took it upon themselves to ensure that those nations are undisturbed and guided towards a more productive future. Pacific pacification. Australia and New Zealand are far too from uh, far from Britain to be effectively defended by them. We can allow them to be taken over by a nation hostile to the Confederate States of America, secure the Axis, or certain Axis, Asia. The colonial nations in Europe seem either unwilling or unable to effectively defend the Asian colonies. We must take this over, over take over this burden for them, lest these areas become springboards for further aggression and global hegemony. Look at that. We stand on the cusp of achieving a position of global supremacy that will allow us to prevent conflict just through our mere existence. We just have to ensure that the remaining great powers on the planet acknowledge our position. Pretty much. Not a bad idea. Hey, look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. Go ahead. If or whenever you can. Go ahead and terminate with extreme prejudice. Goodbye, Paraguay. And after this, we'll have one big old war against these guys, which means we need to send you guys down here. Hey, you know what? Even though we don't own them, we just want to deal with this. In though Peru might not have enough manpower to deal with this. Oh, they do have enough manpower. That's good. 
Nice. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Ooh, we made our own carriers as well. Yay! There you go. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Nice, 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 nice. Losses. 300,000 ain't bad. So who are we fighting? Austria Hungary. Japanese Shogun, which we've killed off 880,000, which is great. Repeat Syndicate, kids, the Soviet Union needs to die as well. Not bad. Very good. Stealing. Good. Alright, so with that in mind, look at this, because Brazil is going to be pretty much a little bit more difficult to take out, probably, I'm going to assume. And we need to probably do something like that. And get some anti sub stuff, just in case. Put some more uh, bases around here as well. Can't do anything like that, which sucks. Not bad, not bad. And get some more rubber. We really industrialized a good point, bunch of the Midwest, which is fine with me. Obviously, it's fine with me. You guys get over there first. Before we actually launch an invasion. How are we doing over here? Doing okay, maybe, maybe not. We're gonna close this out. Push this up a little bit further ahead so we can close this out. No. Oh, you guys need to go over here too. So where are you guys at? That's good. Now he's at level six still, which sucks. Oh, oh wait, duh. We can't naval invade. We didn't put him down here. There's a reason why. There we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh! Well then. Well, you know what, with all this, these guys down, I think it's probably a good place for us to end this episode, because I'll do a lot of this off-screen and give a lot of the territory to the British, in which I don't really care about Europe in this campaign. So probably the next episode we'll probably finish it, take out Japan, and take out some more Asian states, maybe China, and then finish off the Soviet Union. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and see you tomorrow, as we'll probably finish out this campaign. Thanks for watching, have a great fascist rest of your day!